synthetic or not, honey, this is beautiful. You, you my only one. You my number one. You wanna one. I wanna go one on one. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Aglani. If you are returning, thank you. I love and appreciate you. Um, today I will be talking about five top celebrity fragrances in my collection. So these have been the fragrances that I rock with. I really like, I stand by them. They're very good and affordable. They are worth the price because some of these are really, really unique. Well, one or two is really, really unique, but I feel like I have one to fit almost every category um, or close to it. So if you do enjoy celebrity fragrances or you are interested in seeing, then stay tuned. Also, I will put the notes up on the screen and I will have every one of these fragrances linked below if you are interested in trying them. And as always, if you guys own any of these or you have questions or you just want to give your comments about the fragrances, leave it in the um, comment box and also don't forget to like if you enjoyed this video so let's get into it so the first one that i want to get into is mariah carey luscious pink i purchased a very long time ago this is probably like one of the very early fragrances that i was wearing when i first started wearing fragrances back in the days it's been around that long i don't even know where you can buy it from <laughs> Maybe I like your local fragrance stores or online, but I will link it if I do find it. Now, this one is not something to rage about. I really do feel like it's a very fruity, white floral, citrus fresh type of vibe. That's exactly what this is. And on first spray, let's just go ahead and spray her. Yeah, so if you look at the notes, um, that bergamot and sea notes open up with this and then the middle notes are very floral. So that's why I said it's more like a freshy citrus floral type of smell. It doesn't last for a very long time. This is definitely good for the summer, maybe spring. You get about a good four to six hours wear depending on how much you spray. I'm an over sprayer so I probably can get like six out of this and then I would definitely carry this with me on the go but it is definitely a fresh opening, almost like in the category, it doesn't smell the same, but it's in the category of like Dolce & Gabbana, light blue intense. It's like around that family of freshness and freshy um, fragrance, but it's, it's beautiful. I mean, for the price, it is a very nice, clean, sort of musky type of fragrance. I definitely think it's worth the price. I mean, I got this in a set, and you know, with celebrity packaging, I mean, <laughs> anyway, I do think it's worth the price, uh, especially if you just want like a quick freshy something to wear every day and you don't want to reach for your more luxurious and high-end perfumes, definitely go with this. Next up, we have a gourmand, okay? So this one is more on your fruity, woody, and sweet, kind of like vanilla gourmand type of deal. And that is none other than Sofia, Sofia Vergara. This is a beautiful fragrance. Um, I feel like it leans a little bit more gourmand. This reminds me of, some people say that it reminds them of Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. But then also, I get this sweetness, um, this gourmand type of deal, almost like in La Via Belle by Lancome. So this is definitely, yeah, this is indulging. Okay, so in the opening, you do have blackberry and plum, and that's definitely there. That's what makes this, is, this kind of gourmand, is the blackberry plum and the base, which is the woody vanilla and sandalwood. Cause the woody and vanilla and sandalwood is there, especially the vanilla. Like sandalwood is known to make things a little creamy. And this reminds me, this fragrance reminds me if Coco Mademoiselle and Lancome Livia Bell had a baby. And that's because it does retain some of the DNA from Coco Mademoiselle as far as the kind of like that orangey freshness vibe. Coco Mademoiselle is much more sophisticated though. This is a lot more um, sexy gourmand. You know, it's not as sophisticated because it has that heavy dose of vanilla. So it doesn't have that edible taste, but it definitely is delicious in smell. So I really do love this for the price. And this does project for a good 
for hours. I mean, celebrity, celebrity scents, even though it's an EDP, they're not always the best in performance. It depends on how much you spray. I do like to carry my sprays with me, and this bottle is a little bit heavy, but if you carry like cute tote bags and stuff, you could definitely get away with throwing this in your bag and touching up throughout the day. But if you do like Coco Mademoiselle or Lancome La Via Belle, you won't have a problem with this because it's almost like a mixture of the two. Next up, this one is for my musky lovers. Like, you have to really, really love musk to enjoy this fragrance. I'm sorry. It, I don't care if you like musk a little bit. That ain't gonna cut it in, in. Nope, you need to like musk. You need to indulge in it because this right here, baby, this is a musky, powdery, amber type of fragrance, okay? It has, <clears throat> in the notes, do a couple sprays. Well, one. <laughs> it has, in the base notes, look, bunch of musk, right? Musk, white musk, black musk, Egyptian musk, island musk, Tonka Binga Amber. <sighs> this is a beautiful musky fresh, and I'm talking about musky to the extreme, okay? That is Katy Perry Indie. <sighs> this is a beautiful and I feel unique celebrity fragrance. It is beautiful, it's, it's, it is so musky, but it's not, it's not too musky to wear. <laughs> it is so musky, but it's beautiful. It's like must done in the air of freshness and all of the above. You do have plum white tea and bergamot in the opening, and I think that's what toned down the must, so it's not so hardcore and harsh. It does have that beautiful, Mm, it does have that beautiful opening and then it just dries down to a beautiful musk So if you really love musky fragrances this celebrity fragrance this right here Katy Perry indie is the jam I you will not be disappointed if you are a must lover especially because it's at an affordable price You know celebrity scents are usually at an affordable price It's not a bang or breaking your your bank or anything of that nature So I feel like if you are into musk Grab this, throw it in your collection, and spray it as you go because it is affordable. But yes, very, very good musky fragrance. Next up, we have one that took like the fragrance community by storm. And I say it because it's so beautiful on its own, but it's always compared to Baccarat Rouge 540, what's not. But I don't think it's, it's Baccarat Rouge 540. Like, they could be like cousins, but this is definitely a lot more like coconutty, and that is none other than Ariana Grande Cloud. This by far is probably to date my most favorite um, celebrity fragrance because it's so beautiful. It's very sweet, like tonic type of vanilla coconut, and oh my goodness for a celebrity fragrance she nailed it with this one and i'm talking to the tea because if you was to smell this fragrance without seeing it you wouldn't think this was a celebrity fragrance it's sweet it's girly it's it's very it's very gourmand but it's not like like overly done overly sweet it is not one of those gourmands that's going to bug you where you're just like if I spray too much I'm gonna be overwhelmed you can spray a lot of this and it's still going to be evened out and just a little more amped up because I'm a heavy sprayer especially with these celebrity fragrances you got to go in okay you got to pull the trigger about five six seven eight times but with this one, the notes, it opens up with lavender, pear, and bergamot. That's what give it that like freshy burst, but it's not a strong fresh burst. This is not considered a freshy. This is a sweet, sort of like tonic coconut fragrance, okay? In the middle notes is whipped cream, praline, coconut, and vanilla orchid. I think the middle notes is what grounds this to being what it is because the opening does not last for a very long time. You, you may get whiffs of pear, bergamot, or lavender if you are more sensitive to those smells and you catch on to those. But definitely when it dries, after a few minutes, that whipped cream and praline and that coconut kick in and it makes it such a unique, beautiful fragrance. And then it dries down to a musk and woody notes. But by any means, it's not a woody fragrance. It's not a musky fragrance. All of those notes are surrounding that middle structure and just aiding it to that beautiful, sweet, 
coconut type of fragrance. And uh, if you have Baccarat Rouge 540, I would definitely get this. And if you don't have Baccarat Rouge 540, I would say get this first. Because if you're not like a huge Baccarat Rouge 540 fan, like we don't crave it to spend all that money because it's about 300 bucks, right? And that's just for like a 2.7 or 2.4. Whereas this is 3.4 fluid ounces and you are getting your money's worth. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I'm sure you guys seen this plenty of times or heard about it. It is definitely worth every penny. And I say once you get it, try this first. And then if this satisfies you, I wouldn't even go with Baccarat. Baccarat Rouge. I wouldn't even go with 540, okay? Yeah, just so beautifully done. I mean, she nailed it. Like I said, she super nailed this one. Bomb. Last but not least, this is an OG favorite, okay, you guys? So this one is very sweet, fruity, to some can be a little tropical. This fragrance that I'm about to mention has been around for a while, and it is probably one of the best. If not, it was my favorite until um, Ariana Grande Cloud came along, but I would say Ariana Cl Grande oh. <laughs> Ariana Grande Cloud did not knock this out of the water, okay? But it's up there. She's like neck and neck, you know what I mean? Like for a newer DNA type of deal, they are around the same era, but one is more marshmallowy, creamy coconut, and the other one is sweet and tropical fruity type of deal, and that is none other than Britney Spears' fantasy. You know, it took me a long time to get into this because I had a friend who used to always wear this, and at the time I was into Jessica Simpson fancy, so that was my thing. I was more on that, that gourmand kind of like mature, um, you know, that was sweet too, but it was a little bit more deep. It had more depth into it. It's more amber, more vanilla. This right here is a beautiful, beautiful, I mean, for the price, for what it is, girl. This, like I say, is a fruity, sweet, sort of tropical type of fragrance. You have kiwi, red lychee, and quince in the opening. And then it has white chocolate cupcake and orchid and jasmine in the middle, and it dries down to a musk, orris, root, and woodsy notes. Beautifully, beautifully done. Synthetic or not, honey, this is beautiful. It has a, it has a, like a universal smell. It's just sweet, like when you smell it, it's just sweet. You can't dislike this unless some of these notes I mentioned or you guys see on the screen is like, irritating you like if you don't like a certain note in here and it stands out to you but this one is a beautiful sweet fruity type of fragrance and it I, I love it like for a celebrity cheapy I will always try to keep this in my collection as long as it's not discontinued and it's been hanging around for a long time I'm talking some years honey this was around when I was like in high school the when I first discovered it probably was before that like middle school or something but matter of fact that was like middle school Anyway, I didn't get it at the time because this was her deal, right? And then I kept hearing about it when I started getting more and more into fragrances and collecting them. And then, what do you know? I bought it. I was like, I need it. Regardless, I need to make new memories with it and add it to my collection because it's one of a kind. Like, there's nothing out there that kind of compares to it. I mean, it's really, really a unique celebrity fragrance. Um, next in line to the Ariana Grande one. Those are my top two out of the ones I mentioned. I mean, all of these smell great, and it depends on what you like more. Gamont, musky, clean, fresh, sweet, or creamy. You're gonna find one in these fragrances that I mentioned that are gonna stand out to you, or you're gonna like somewhere or the other, and it doesn't hurt to try them. They are not uh, um, expensive. These are all affordable fragrances that I think last a decent amount of time and not only that they just not going to break your bank so if you don't like it give it away you can sell it whatever but it's not going to be such a deal breaker you try these fragrances because of the price so yes this one i get like four to six hours again with most celebrity fragrances depending on how much you spray them 
but and I'm a heavy spray so I get like about a good six but yes that is all of my top five celebrity fragrances that I want to share with you guys that are in my collection that I think are outstanding if you guys do know any more because I'm all for the deals honey like I do not mind spending a few dollars on a celebrity fragrance if I feel that I'm gonna get my money's worth I don't care if it doesn't last long because let's be honest we got some fragrances out there that's like over $200 and they probably don't last that long but because you love the smell so much you're gonna go buy it and break your little bank well maybe not break your bank maybe just buy it collect it and be like oh it's expensive I don't want to really spray her but I'm gonna get the cousin that smell like her and just I have some I have a couple of those too but yes, if you do own any of these, let me know what you think about them. I love y'all feedback. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like it. And also, I am letting you guys know if you have any recommendations or if you have any celebrity fragrances that I not mentioned in my top five that is in your top five, let me know what that is too so I can check it out. And until next time, you guys.